I believe the next one we're going to pop it down so we'll be able to hit a whole bunch of points here together. So there's your walk-in extension. Notice, speed off the ground. That would make all of this so much easier. Also, your bases step in together, nice and close together. That way they're able to share the weight. They're driving through their shoulders and your top's lifting up. Those are the things you want to look for. Base is close, driving through shoulders. Top person is in a good tall position throughout. And that is what will fix a whole lot of your stunts, especially when you get into spinning and then some of your inversion, inversion transitions we're going to show you. So now let's go to a dismount here, which will further explain and show how this is, why this is so important. So we're going to go to the pop down. So we're already up. Now watch on this pop down. Notice how nice and slow she comes back to the ground, but doesn't bend her shoulders over to try to do it. She just puts them straight down to her side. She's not trying to find but those are the, that type of dismount there is great, especially if you do a lot of game day stuff, your top, if your uh, tops have signs, et cetera, this is a legal way to dismount. But also you'll notice she comes right down into a quick toss position. So you can actually, if you've got good resistance there and quick off the ground, you can transition that straight back up to another skill or another transition. So again, that's your pop down dismount. So now let's go into our one-legged stunts, which is what the can drill a skill using for a lot. So we're going to go into our liberty here first. Boom. Again, bases cannot emphasize enough. Close together, making a real tiny triangle between their hands and their two shoulders as the base of the triangle. The thinner the triangle, the closer they are to be, uh, together. This is where coaches, you'll see a lot of times why the stunt goes up and looks so good and then comes back down the middle. Why is it doing that? Look at where your bases are. If they're too wide, the weight's in their arms. If they come in close, now they're transferring that weight into the trunk of their body, and they're so much stronger. Top person again, nice and tight, pulls the Liberty up real nice and parallel to the ground so you know her hips are tight, lifting through her shoulders. They come down for the back for the bump down, they just bump back down to the one foot, and they're done. So now we're going to run through the, all the body positions real quick. For the next one, we'll just use the same technique, walking in. This time we're going to go to the heel stretch. Boom. And on this one, coaches, a lot of times you guys get excited. You've got those great tops, man. They're tiny. The ground up liberties are going awesome, but they don't have a lot of flexibility. Well, then you don't have walking heel stretches yet. You want to have flexibility like this top does. Maybe not as awesome as hers, but you want it to be close because what you don't want your tops to do is have to bend over or get out of line to get the heel stretch up, mm -hmm. like kicking straight to the front, bending the knee, and then bringing the stretch up. Uh, or, or actually bending over and having to grab the ankle. So again, she's using that momentum coming off the ground. It helps her lift that leg up nice and smooth. Again, tight through the hips, lifting through her shoulders, bases in close. Those are the things you're gonna keep looking for over and over. It requires a lot of core strength and flexibility or you shouldn't be doing the skill. On this one, the easiest way to tell this is, does your top have to keep dropping her shoulders to get the leg up? You'll notice this top, her shoulders and head are up nice and tall. That means she's got good core strength and flexibility. That way her leg is able to come up. Bases are doing a little quarter turn since it is a side facing stunt, but everything else is the same for them. Notice the back spot on this one. You can get a good shot of this. She drives those hips up. So she's down low. That back spot comes under the hip and speeds her up off the ground to get her back up over top of her knee. And then that gets her up over top of her bases. So now let's move to the next one. Now this, this skill is not used quite as often, but it's another flexibility skill. And I really want to show it to you because if you have tops who can't pull it with this kind of speed, you probably don't want to use these kind of the scorpion as a visual. If you've got to grab, pull, release, re-grab, et cetera, you probably don't want to use this skill. But if you have, if you have t a tops who are really nice and flexible and can pull it that fast using momentum off the ground, then again, it's, an, it's another good entertaining side facing skill. Tight through the, she has tight through her hips, great flexibility, uses the speed coming off the ground to help her get the foot up above her head. So those are some different body positions. This one is going to be a J. These are load loading, skills. And it's basically similar. It's going to be part quick toss and part walk in. Okay, so you've got your main base who has the foot. Your other base is in a quick toss position. See how low she is? She's on the smaller part of the thigh. Your back spot is on the hips, and your top person is giving resistance through the wrist of, your top, of, the, of the back spot. As they drive this up, 
your quick toss side is gonna speed this up to get help the top get over top of her knee. Then she'll stand up on her, we'll flick it together, allowing them to make it even lighter there at the top. And then your other base comes in and catches the foot. Again, everything else we've talked about, look how close they are together, driving through their shoulders, top lifting up. But that's called a J toss. A lot of teams like to use this now to load. It's nice and fast. Some, a lot of teams actually like to spin out of this version as well. Let's go to our another uh, loading technique, which is actually the quick toss. Now on the quick toss, both of them are now on the legs. They're on the smaller part of the thigh usually. They'll drive through, pulling up. The back spot's on, on the waist. Top and the back spot flick as they get towards the top of the toss. And then your, your uh, bases will finish all the way through. Notice how high their hands are, and they leave them up there for the catch. Also notice those two bases. They're stepping in underneath that top person, again, to get as close as possible, to share the weight. Quick toss is a great way to load skills, especially if you have like a small co-ed or a co-ed team with a couple of all girl groups. These match the timing perfectly of single base tosses. Let's say you've got a couple all girls who are strong enough to do single base tosses and you wanna use them. Your other groups can do quick tosses and all the counts would match. So that's a couple of other ways to load skills. So now we're specific about some different, the specific techniques you want to look for with those. So we're going to start with inversions. Inversions are the big deal the last few years. We had a lot of rule changes over that to allow a lot more stuff to happen. This is a basic inversion. What this does is it starts helping your top person. One of the key things is it helps her understand what it feels like to hold a handstand with her hands being rounded instead of flat on the hand on the ground and also what it feels like to kind of have to have a balance and a sense of where they are and not be on the ground. Okay, so it's a basic, basic one. On this one, they are making, this is actually a little bit more difficult because we're kind of speeding up our progression a little bit to show you all enough stuff. They're actually releasing this to a load. This is actually one of the harder inversions to release from luck uh, to a load because the top person, all up, she is not all underneath the power of the bases. You'll notice the bases, they don't have a lot of leg drive. They're mainly having to push with their arms and the back spot is actually helping a lot with this one, uh, getting the hips moving up. But what you're wanting to get out of this is, this is how you kind of test your top people. Do they have a really good handstand from a strength standpoint, not necessarily balance, but strength, and then put them on this double base thigh stand so they can get used to what that feels like with their hands being rounded and what it feels like to be balancing themselves off the ground. For your bases, this is when they can start learning what it feels like to balance the top person and kind of control them. The other thing you as a coach will look for on this is, what does your top's hips look like? Are they arching? If they're arching, you need to hollow them out a little bit. If they're bent too much, you need to stand them up a little bit more. Okay, you want this inversion to be as tall as possible without arching and almost going where the feet start going over the head. So that's what you're looking for there. The next one we're gonna go to uh, we're going to go to, I believe, a Baja. Yes, and I want to show these, we're going to show two versions for two reasons, or for one, for a couple reasons. One is they're a single base uh, skill to dismount, and uh, it is a type of inversion. But the other way, the other reason is, uh, earlier on, Steve Wright was doing some pyramid teaching, and there was, uh, there's now some brace flips that are allowed that use this technique. So you want to have, make sure you have a good, comfortable, group with this technique before you start trying to use it in your brace flip uh, tech, uh, visuals. So on this one, the key thing here is, is that the, the back spots shake hands as high as you can so that there's as much room as possible for the back spot to come through there. And um, Mark, can you zoom in on that or freeze frame it at the top? I'm not sure if you can or not but just to let them see how that base, the back spot drives those arms up. Hmm. I don't think that was quite what it was going for. <laughs> 